Hello the internet and welcome to another CNRL Library Innovation Studio Home Workshop and today we're going to talk about COVID face masks. Now you may have seen our previous video where our friends at the library showed you how to make a government standards approved face mask like this one. Now this is fantastic and I highly recommend you watch the video to find out how to make it. However it does require that you do some sewing and it also requires that you have elastic. Now I realise not everyone's going to have or they're not going to think they have the resources available to make this mask or the skills they need to make this mask. In the first part of this video, I'm going to show you how you can find resources around your house to make this mask. In the second part of the video, I'll show you how you can make a mask to the same standards, but not have to sew it whatsoever. So the Victorian guidelines state you need three pieces of fabric to make an effective mask. You need one sheet of 100% cotton, one sheet of 100% polyester, and one sheet that is a fabric mix, so cotton polyester or cotton polypropylene. Now, basically, if you can't go to the shops to buy these, have a look around your house, have a look through your clothes. If you have children, have a look through their dress up box and check the labels of your garments. Swimmer shorts, 100% polyester. Hardest one to find, you've already got it. You may also find them in active wear and things like that. Now, cotton. Cotton is found in lots of t-shirts, but the weave is probably a bit too loose. Shirts, often very good for cotton. Again, check the label. You'll also find many shirts have a cotton polyester mix. Elastic is probably the hardest thing to find, but I know we have some in the house. Underwear. Everyone has underwear and everyone's underwear has elastic on it. All you're gonna need to do is get your scissors and trim the elastic off. You don't actually need the bit of the underwear that you might not actually want near your face. All you need is the elastic from the top. Now you have to trim this top bit off. This isn't actually the elastic. The elastic is where it's joined. So we'll carefully trim that off. Hey presto, you've got elastic and quite a lot of it. So now you have all the materials you need to make this mask. If you know how to sew or use this sewing machine, please look at our other video for full instructions. Otherwise stay with me and I'll show you how you can use these materials to make a mask with only an extra t-shirt instead of elastic and sewing, plus a pair of scissors and a ruler. Okay, here's how it works. First of all, you need to cut your material out into 25 centimeter squares. The polyester, the polyester cotton mix, and the cotton. Three sheets, 25 centimeter square. Okay, so we've got our three layers of material, the polyester, the polycotton, and the cotton. And according to the Victorian guidelines, this is what you need to make a mask. It just needs to fit formally over your face. So to do that without being able to sew or having the resources to sew, we're going to use a t-shirt to make a holder for those materials to hold them snugly against our face. So you want a nice big t-shirt. Doesn't really matter what's on the front if there's a pattern, we're using the back of the t-shirt. That's what's going to be visible. So lay your t-shirt out. It needs to be a nice long t-shirt with the front facing you. And what we're going to do is we're going to cut from the lowest point of the collar all the way down the middle. So this is the front of the t-shirt. Okay, next we're gonna cut the arms off. We don't need them, but keep the hem on the piece we're retaining. It just helps keep it together. Doesn't matter if this is a little rough looking, a lot of these cuts are not gonna be particularly visible anyway. The arms you can throw away. Do that to both arms. Okay. Now we're gonna cut the shoulder. Again, keep the hem if you can, on the piece of material we're going to keep, which is the back. Now lay this out flat so you can see what's going on. Okay, so you can see the arm hole that we've got here. What we're going to do is at the bottom of the hole, we're going to snip across and take that bit off. We just don't need it. And chuck it away. Do the same for both sides. Okay, so we're done cutting. Have the t-shirt laid out in front of you with the collar furthest from you. All spread out nice and flat. You're actually done. Follow this bit quite closely because this is what you're going to do every time you put your mask on. Make sure your hands are clean. Never touch your mask with dirty hands. Get your three layers of material, the polyester, face down, right up where the collar is. Okay? And then fold it over so that the material inside is nice and flat, but it's right up to the crease. Fold it one more time. 
Now inside, the cotton is facing me. And these folds are going to hold the material in place. It can't fall out now. The front bit may flap open a bit, that's fine. It's securely in, right there. Put it on your face, and then with these bits here at the side, tie a knot behind your head, like this. Fold over and through like you're doing up your shoelaces. Pull it tight so it's nice and tight against your head. And then do a second one, a bit looser this time, just to keep it together. You don't want to do it too tight or you won't be able to take it off. Perfect. My mouth is covered, my nose is covered, it goes under my chin. And there you go, that's nice and snug against my face. And that's it. Remember how to do that each time? Polyester face down, up by the collar, fold, fold, pick it up, tie it on. Follow the guidelines. You should wash your mask materials in warm soapy water and hang it up in the sun to dry every day. It's a good idea to make more than one mask. That way you know you always have a clean dry mask available when you need it. We hope you found this workshop useful. We'll see you next time.